Hey everybody, Bryce here from CodeLife.io, and today we're talking about higher order components. So it's just a quick uh, tutorial, quick example. So I'm just going over to stackblitz.com and scrolling down, just clicking on React, spin up a new project here. Perfect. Cool, so we got a new project here. Uh, what we're gonna do is create a new file. Um, let's call it um, number generator.js. And the usual import React from React. Export const, and we'll call it uh, number generator. And take it back, we'll call it with. Let me rename this. With number generator. Um, and that's a common pattern for higher order components. You call it with whatever, with comment data, whatever it may be. And that way it's pretty uh, explicit saying that now this component's gonna have this data. Um, so in our case, we're gonna generate a random number and then uh, pass it along um, by wrapping the component. So here's where it gets a little hairy and a little confusing. So we have our wrapped component we're going to pass in, but that's not it. Then we need props. So when you actually call the component, then the props can pass along. So another arrow function. So this looks real hairy. I know that, um, but you'll see exactly how we use this, where we pass in the component we want to wrap. And then just imagine this wasn't here. That's just export const. You know, that part wasn't there and it just said wrap component. That looks pretty normal. That looks like your normal component, right? Nothing scary about that. It's just adding in this extra part. You're like, whoa, um, this looks a little abnormal um, being that it has two arrow functions, but it's just a function being passed a function. So no big deal. So let's generate a random number. We'll say const um, random num equals, we'll say math.floor, say math.random, which generates a random number between zero and uh, one. So it's a fraction, that's why you say math.floor. But we'll multiply it by 30, so the number would come out to like 30, I mean, it's gonna be something not even with zero. So that's why we say math.floor. Um, so some number between, actually let's make it between 100. Um, burp. all right, so that's looking pretty good. Now we just need to return the wrapped component and I'll show you the magic here. So we say wrapped component. This is the component we're passing in. We're just going to render it just like it's a normal component. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Now here's something new. You say dot, 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 this, or excuse me, props because we want to pass all the existing properties. We don't want to de start deleting stuff off of it. Um, we just want to pass it through. And so these will get passed along. Any props that we're getting passed to the component um, will just be put onto the, continue to be put on the wrap component. Nothing's going to change. Now here's the magic. Um, we say random num, and we can just random num. We can call this whatever we wanted to for this prop. Um, but now we'll self terminate. So now it has an extra property on there that it didn't have originally. So this could be data. Um, this could be, you know, you have a bunch of data come back from an API and you could say, you know, comments, and this is all your comment data. Um, pretty straightforward. So let's go over, back over to index.js. Let's import this, um, with number generator. A mouthful with number generator. Cool. So we got it imported. Um, now what we need to do, so this is a little different. Um, let's declare, call it enhanced hello. So we're going to add this data onto our hello component. So we'll call it uh, enhanced hello, which is a common pattern to put the word enhanced. So you know it's got something else. And we'll say with number generator. Um, and then we can pass it 
uh, the component itself. So all we're doing right there, nothing crazy, is we're passing in the wrap component, um, but we haven't actually passed any props to it yet, right? Because we haven't rendered it onto the page. Once you run it on the page, then the props get passed along. So now when we come down here, let's just change this to enhanced hello. So now finally right here, we have a wrapped component. We passed in the hello is getting passed in to this component here. So hello got passed here. And then when we actually rendered hello, you can see a name prop came across. And so if you were to, you know, console log this out, you would see that name prop there. Uh, so nothing crazy. So we're like, what, what is going on? We don't have any extra data here, but uh, if we went into hello, now instead of hello name, um, we're actually gonna have um, random number as a new prop now on this that we can now access. We say random number. I think it was random number, wasn't it? Random num, that's why. There we go, boom. So now our random number is being generated between zero and 100. We refresh, you can see the number changes every time, it's randomly generated for us. And that would be the equivalent if we made an API call in this with number generator. Uh, it could be with component data that gets passed along and then you'd have access to data or whatever it may be. Um, and you can see real quick, I'll just change it to data. Then here, boom. So no big deal. So that really quickly is a higher order component. Um, it becomes very handy when you start to get into larger applications and you don't have to rewrite the same API calls because maybe on different pages you have the same comments or whatever, you know, data, maybe it's a different view or whatever it may be. Um, and maybe you just want to pass some sort of, you know, argument in um, to tell it, you know, how many comments you want or whatever it may be. Um, but then you can just very simply just say, oh, let me just enhance it and say with number generator. Um, and you could have multiples of these. You could then, you know, stack 10 of them. So maybe you needed user data, you needed comments, you needed uh, blog posts, whatever it may be. And you could just enhance it multiple times and then spit out you know, the now enhanced component that has all the data you could possibly ever want on it. So that's higher order components in a nutshell. I know it was really quick, but hopefully it made sense. If you have questions, comments, concerns, please leave me a comment below or join my Slack channel and uh, leave a comment there. Otherwise, uh, you know, please like and subscribe. It helps others find the channel here on YouTube. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Take care, guys. Thanks.